Going upper body is gonna be different for you from here on out. I'm gonna show you one simple throwing protocol that's gonna change everything for you when you're going above the waist in jujitsu. It doesn't matter if I have an overhook or if I have an underhook. What matters is where is our weight going and then correlating the proper foot position for wherever your weight is going. So if our weight is going forward, I have to make sure I'm dominating inside position. And it's the same thing with an underhook. If I have an underhook here and our weight is going forward, I need to connect my hands and start torquing him downwards. If our weight is going backwards here, it doesn't matter if I'm outside or inside. If Dante feels me trying to pressure him down and he starts coming up, I need to make sure that I then go to outside position with my legs, okay? So think about it like this. Wherever our weight is going, we're gonna try to step. So if our weight is upright and we're going backwards, if I just trip his leg by putting a post behind him, I can win that exchange nine times out of 10. If he feels me trying to throw him and he brings his weight down, I need to then transition to inside position and there's my Uchimata. To simplify things on the feet, just think about where is your chest in relation to your hips and then correlating the proper foot position to where your weight is going. There are two low risk, high reward takedowns which anyone of any age, mobility or skill level can do in my zero cost takedown mini course linked in the comments and description below.